Oh, look at this. We just found a lockbox. We have a display case and a lockbox. See what we have. We got something wrapped up in a giant eagle. Holy cow. Let's see what we have in here. Federal ammunition. Pop it and... back at the warehouse today and we know so many of you rely on what the hails for not only your entertainment but your education on how to make money working from home one of the most important things in a time like this you can be assured we will continue to be committed to sharing all kinds of education and entertainment with you as a matter of fact we'll go through the process on this video as we continue to go through the eighteen hundred dollar and the seventeen hundred dollar storage units these are going to take months to get through so don't you worry every single day you're going to have another video to watch so make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the all notifications the little bell and turn the notifications on your apple product so you always always can see what the hails we find. To be in this business, there's two fundamental questions you have to answer for yourself. Number one, how are you gonna move it all? I always, always encourage a covered trailer, such as this, with a ramp door, because everything is done on the ground level. You don't wanna be lifting up over and over and over again. And a box truck, well, that's a whole nother engine you have to deal with. So thankfully, we've got Ramses, we've got the covered trailer, but the second question is, where am I gonna put it? And this stuff can overwhelm your life. So we're fortunate also to have the warehouse. Now, we're lucky that we have the dock space. Let's just climb up right now. Here we go with my makeshift stairs. So the dock space, everything comes up into here and we've got plenty of space and I'm getting ready right now to even do some sorting. But as you can see, here's the, that's the $1,800 unit and then here's the $1,700 unit. You've got to sort it all and you've got to have a place to put it all. Here's where we're putting all the license plates. So even this much space well, frankly, it can be overwhelming when you're buying at a volume, but you also can't just buy. You have got to sell, and we've got great videos teaching you how. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pin one. It's going to be right there for you. It's going to teach you how to sell the items that you acquire in different ideas, different ways to do that while you're at home. That video is a great video for anybody. Whether you're buying storage units or not, it'll teach you creative ways to make money at home on online platforms with stuff you already have. Now, look at all this. I've already got stuff. This is stuff as we're going through the unit that I may be missing a part or a piece. For example, let's look here, okay? I've got four locks. Locks are incredible things when you're in the storage unit business. There's three things you always wanna to bring to a storage unit auction. Your ID, you've got to bring your driver's license. Locks, because you're responsible for securing your purchase afterwards. And then cash, 99% of the auctions are gonna be cash. Nice thing with public storage, they typically let you put it on a credit card. But be aware because those public storage auctions will go for a higher price because people can charge them and they don't have to be in cash. You know what? As a matter of fact, I'm going to teach you how to find storage unit auctions in your area as well. Right here or here, one of those areas, there's another pinned area sharing a phenomenal video with you how to find storage unit auctions, both live and online. Let's open this thing up. We haven't even peeked in here yet. Let's see. Holy cow, it's heavy. I'm gonna have to take this lid that I've been using as a, a table and yes, yes, yes. Oh, nice. This, frankly, this is, man, this is gold right here. We were talking with our friend auctioneer Steve Wilson that we needed a car safe, a personal vault for your firearms and your valuables because we carry cash with us all the time. And we obviously protect ourselves as well, especially when we carry the cash that we have. This is going home. This is going to be used in the vehicle for sure, without a doubt. Brand new. Here we go again. 
brand new. I'm going to set that aside because we're not selling that back. We're going to use that. Here's a Road King. Wow. What? Is this a CB? Brand new Road King CB. Includes the preferred noise microphone. Uh, $60 value. All right. There it is. What do you guys think? How much there? We're going to have to look that one up online. It looks like it looks like it's money though to me. What else? Look, this tote. Oh my goodness. I, we were so so lucky. Here is these units are are amazing. Here is cobalt, more brand new cobalt tools. These will go back to Lowe's. I'll get a store credit. I'll use those on my apartments. We've got whatever this is, the ideal compression connectors installation kit. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Here's another 300, oh my goodness, that is, that's what's so heavy. There is a 300 mechanics piece set in here, advanced tool set, 300 piece. Right there, 300 piece cobalt, <laughs> pure money. Brand new, never used. Count how many times I say brand new because this is just, this is amazing. Look at this, we got a brand new quarter cable. Brand new quarter cable something. Something, I don't know what it is yet, but oh my goodness, brand new quarter cable. Little saw, 20 volt lithium, and I know we got batteries. There's the brand new blade with it. There's gotta be a battery in here as well. So circular saw with the carrying case. I'm sure there's a battery somewhere. I just, I'm in awe. And the great thing is, is, you guys can all do this too. There's nothing, there is nothing that I do that you can't do on a daily basis. Whoa, look at that. Brand new Delta Annihilator. That's the Annihilator. That's what we're going to do with this virus. Dead on tools. We're going to annihilate it. So there is the ultimate wrecking bar right there. If you get into the wrecking business... You can wreck some stuff with that, that's for sure. That annihilator is something serious. We got carabiner clips. We got power strips. We got channel locks, brand new channel locks. These are, they are channel lock brands. So, DSL cable, or no, maybe that's a landline cable. I'm not sure we really need that. We've got a 16 piece per precision knife. I mean, oops, excuse me. Cut knife, 16 piece precision cut knife set. This is just amazing. There's an X Acto. So I've said this once before, I'm going to say it again. If I, on average, if let's just say there's 100 boxes and 100 totes, if I, on average, can make $100 per box, 10 grand. Just like that. Now, I, I firmly believe, and I'm going to prove it to you because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually take all these tools back to Lowe's and get in-store credit. I believe there's over $10,000 just in tools. Tools alone that I will use on my apartments and my rental properties from here on into the future. Let's dig into something else. A lot of you may be wanting to get into storage units, but frankly, you're just like, hey, I don't know what to bid. And we see a lot of that all the time, but don't worry, there's over 500 videos on the channel and daily videos that come out every single day that teach you what to look for. For example, when you see a unit filled with high quality, high dollar totes, that's a good sign that people had something of value because they bought something of value to store, hopefully, all right? That's what we call profiling. You don't bid on garbage. Let's see what we have in here. Hopefully it's not garbage. Oh, and by the way, as you have questions, every Sunday night, every Sunday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard, we go live and we answer your questions. Take a peek in here. Look at this. Wouldn't you know it? Brand new 300 Max PSI air compressor hose. Again, this for us, there's lots of ways to make money. We don't have to post this online. We can actually take this back and get a store credit because it's brand new, it's still sealed. And that's completely and totally legal. And that's part of the plan. But things like, well, here, look at this. This would be what I would consider collectible because if you go into Krispy, Krispy Kreme, they're going to charge you for something like this. Now, often, look, Applebee's, let's see. Uh, go green with PMSI. 
Applebee's all over here. This is all, here's another one. Here's another one, Applebee's. Okay, and you're asking, okay, how did this guy get this stuff? Well, we already know because there's a story in every single unit. There is always a story, and this guy owned a touring company. Therefore, he got free stuff everywhere. As a matter of fact, look at this. Here is, oh my goodness, it's so heavy. An entire box in the tote of his business pens. And there are tons and tons and tons of them. So not only did he give out freebies, he was obviously getting freebies from everywhere as well. Let's see, what else do we have here? We've got freebies from anywhere and everywhere. The French Lick Resort. Not sure what that is, where it is. But there's one, two, three, four, five. So much more. When you profile a unit, look for the story. If it looks like garbage, guess what the story is? Garbage. If it looks good, guess what the story's going to be? Good. Nine times out of ten. Profiling helps you calculate the risk when buying. That way you're always making profit. There is no reason anyone should ever lose buying a storage unit. You never have to lose any money. You should always be making it. I want to jump back over here to the $1,700 unit side. But remember, both of these units were, were purchased or everything in the units were purchased and owned by the same person. Let's open up another one. <laughs> Look at... Wait, 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 wait. What is it? Is this? Oh, you know what? This is, looks like, okay, this looks like an old, actually, it looks like harness working for a horse. And then it was turned into a key holder. Okay, there we go. There we go. This was old harness working for a horse turned into a then key holder that you would hang up at home. Cool stuff, nonetheless. So a lot of people would go, man, how do you even get rid of this? Well, there's lots of different ways to get rid of it. And that one video that I referenced earlier will share with you. But Facebook Marketplace is a huge place. Right now, people without work are posting almost everything they own on Facebook Marketplace. Remember, the goal in acquiring wealth and being affluent, buy low, sell high. Everything works in cycles. So everything is going to be extremely low right now. Income, sales, everything but the cycle will go back up and you'll make a ton of money so now is the time to actually buy if you have the 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 income to do so and even if you don't have mass income there's still opportunities for you to find things really low hold on to them then sell them really high let's look at some other things in here let's look at what do we have here oh boy okay we got a bunch of smalls in here this is kind of cool. People love this stuff. If I can get it to where I can show you. I'm not going to take them all out of the bag. But look, we've got like porcelain. I see a walnut. I see peppers. I see an ear of corn. There's acorns. Porcelain pieces. Look at that. Just kind of... Oh, look, there's a cucumber. Because you're my cucumber, my precious cucumber. I wait for you. Oh, I wait for you too. Looks like there's a lot of cool stuff in here. It just looks like a drying rack. We got Moose Crossing, Canada. Remember, there was a lot of travel this individual was doing. Let's see. And we have found a ton, ton of antiques. Let's see what we have here. This is part of the fun. Okay, frosty uh, glass there set that aside see what else we have this might be look at all that paper that's a lot of paper and that's a good sign for this story because they were protecting these look hand painted they were protecting what they actually put in here is there any oh this is heavy whatever it is this is heavy and it is not another glass this is this this looks like a lighter i think i don't know Let's see, it is, oh my goodness, look at that. Still has spark. All right, let's look inside. Lighters are a huge area of collectability online. And I'm not seeing any markings, but holy cow, that thing is heavy. That thing is really heavy, I'll set that aside. Now, we'll, sell, we'll sell lighters to our viewers in a bulk lot. 
don't know what that is. And uh, bought, bought every Sunday night on our live streams. We try and give, look at that. We try and give our viewers bulk items so that they can then go resell and generate income just like us. So that's a ton of fun on our live stream. We do what we call a minute to win it. And that looks like some kind of fondue set. $2.29 was the original price way back whenever at WT Grant. I don't even know. Probably some, There's probably something in here that goes in there. Let's keep looking. There's obviously other things in here. That's got to go to something. I don't know. Okay, there's some smalls for sure. Let's look here. Oh, nightlight. Nightlight wrapped in paper. That is... Now we're getting perplexing. Here we go. Shot glasses. We get a million of those. Here's something else here. A little piece of pottery. Looks like the old Crocs, huh? There we go. Focusing in now. And... No, we got more. Oh, we got more. What is in here? This is... Old picture. I was hoping for old A and W. That old A and W stuff, any of the old soda stuff, that stuff is just so cool. All right, I think those are the same. All right, I think all of those are all of the same glasses inside here. Let's get another tote. Whenever you're doing your sort, you always want to have gloves on. Now I know you figured that out already, right? And remember, safety first. Even if I'm not always safe, you should always do safety first. I like to live life on the edge. You, you stay a little bit further back, okay? Oh my, look at this, this is a display case. Oh, we add, oh, look at this, we just found a lockbox. We have a display case and a lockbox. Okay, all right, let me take the top here. Let me take the top, put it back on. All right, uh, we already saw a Canada theme. So I know this business was out of Mentor and then another city as well. I forget Willoughby or maybe something like that. So we found one lockbox already in this unit and it had collectible coins and money in it. We found another safe that was filled with money. We found so much gold and silver already. <laughs> Who knows? All right, let's figure it out. Let's see what's in here. Here we go. Look at that, we got State of West Virginia. Canada, Ontario, State of West Virginia. Here we go, come on! Ooh, 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 We've got, looks like we got old paperwork. And we do have a key. We have a key to the lockbox, but nothing in the actual lockbox. I'm curious if that key even fits, let's find out. Let's find out if the key goes in there. Honestly, it's so rusted, I don't think anything can... No, I don't think that goes in there at all. All right, let's take a look at this display. Things are a little uneven because I'm I'm just uh, I'm, I'm on top of other things. Okay, is this upside down or... Oh, here we go. Okay, I guess the way that you would display this, you would take this off... Okay, and you would, okay, here's, here's what you would do. You would display like this. Now, we've already found tons of gold and silver and jewelry. So, let's turn this around. This doesn't look like the highest dollar stuff. I'm going to put that glass piece there. Let's see. We've got, that might be an old perfume, perfume piece. You would open it and then, Paris. Oh, it's, yeah, it's makeup, powder, a little power, powder tin right there. Wow, okay, all right, let's set that one over. We've got, all right, this rosary, it's labeled a rosary for $15. So there's a rosary, and there's another, there's other pieces in here too. This piece this piece is labeled for $18, and let's see, is it sterling? Can we see anything underneath? Here, let's get a good look. Look how pretty that butterfly is. It definitely looks handmade. 
I mean, it's, it's craftsmanship is incredible. Okay, so vintage piece here. We'd have to look this up. And other pieces in here, too. What is that? This looks like it could be gold. It's pinned in a bag. Let's see. We've got other pieces, old beads. Now, we did find out that they were antique dealers as well. So there's $15. So don't be don't be shocked if we find high high end antiques in here. We already have, and that's been a ton of fun. I'm gonna set this aside with the actual lock box. We'll take this back off, and just in case, we'll put our gloves back on because safety first. Okay, and let's see what we have. We got something wrapped up in a giant eagle. Holy cow! This. Look at this. Look at this. This is old. This is probably worth $100 right here. During the war, they would make they would make art on the old shells. Look at the old art here. Okay. It says 19, 1914 to 1919. World War. This is World War I. No way. This is a World War I shell with all the art. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Right there, World War I shell. Oh, wow. All right, let's get it. See, if, sometimes the shells are dated. We got 75 millimeter lot. Uh, I don't see a date. But this looks like this looks like this is World War I artwork. How cool. Wow. Just so, I don't even know what to say. This stuff is so random. There's such incredible stuff in here. You find money, you find amazing, oh, and then what do you find? Kills, cold, and flu virus. Yes! This is worth even more. That's going home. That's going, and it's got a fresh scent. All right, let's set that aside. What else? What else could we actually have in here? All right, now, look, you find that piece of World War I art, and then you find this random, this, this, this unit is so crazy. There's so little garbage. You always get garbage, but there's so little in this. And then you find another antique, I don't even know what this is, but I know there's antiques in here everywhere. I'm going to set that aside. Let's see what's in here. Okay, looks like we got a little antique toy in here. Little antique, yep. Ring a ling a ling a ling. Antique toy. But look, there's stuff in towels. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We've got. Is that the Dutch boy? That might be the Dutch boy. That looks like an antique planter. But. Oh, oh, Captain Fumble Nuts strikes again. <sighs> There, yep, that's, this is the way my life goes. Try and record it and try not to break anything. All right, there's more in here. Look at this. We just found, we found money. We did find money. I don't think this is silver or collectible money, but there is money hiding in there. Look at that old cobalt blue, old medicine jar. Oh, that's, a, no way. That's an old Vicks vapor rub jar. Wow, that's pretty. Wow. Okay, one more big thing in here. It's like an old drill holder. Something big in here, wrapped in towels. It is a piece of glass, piece of ornate glass. It's pretty. Not as pretty as George, but still it's pretty. Let's dig into another tote. But remember, these units are so huge. That's why moving it and that's why storing it are the two biggest factors when you get into this business. It's going to take us a couple months to get through everything. But man, it's going to be hails of a fun time. Let's see what we have in here. We've got... Oh, man. This, this individual. High dollar everything. Let's see what he had here. Imported Ashton. Made by hand. Ah! Didn't leave any. You got your taxation right there. There's 25 cigars right there. 
Let's see. We've got die cast. We've got number 17. Harley J's still in the box. Of course it's brand new. Why wouldn't it be brand new? Everything in here is brand new. If you haven't seen the previous week's videos, you got to go back. Just go on the playlist. You go to What the Hails. You go to click on What the Hails, and then it'll have videos. You can go through videos, and you can go back in time, and you can see everything from this unit. This has been the greatest unit I've ever purchased in the 20-plus years I've been doing this. Let's see what we have inside here. We've got stuff hidden in bags. Oh, there's tape even. Let's see. Let's hope it's good stuff. And we've got... We've got Coast Guard. We've got Semper Coast Guard right there. Check that out. United States Coast Guard flag. That's beautiful. That is really cool. And what else do we have? we got a ship. I'm going to... I'm not... Oh, that is... It's a Coast Guard ship. I was going to say I'm not going to get it out, but I'm going to try ripping through the plastic so you can see it. You know, I should have my knife. United States Coast Guard right there. You know what we'll do? We'll probably put this, we'll probably put this in a lot for you guys for a Sunday Night Live because there's just so much. Look at all the shells. Look at all the shells. He bought all these shells for $6.99. So fine. All right. Let's keep, oh, something else is hidden in here. I just felt it. I missed it. I know what it is. I definitely know what it is. It is... Yeah, yeah, Georgia, Georgia, George, ah, uh, that George is always on my mind. She's such a peach. <laughs> when she wants to be. <laughs> Which ain't often. All right, we've got uh, five parrot clock. We have a brand new sealed parrot clock in here. So if anybody wants to look that up, it cost him 39 95 right there for the parrot clock oh, 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 oh yeah okay we got an ammo can here but let's not hit that first let's uh let's get we got a bunch it looks like we got a bunch of cigar boxes how's this one work oh that one okay there we go we got a cigar box there now even though the cigars aren't in there, which I don't have a license to sell tobacco anyway, nor would I, but the boxes are collectible. So that's cool. Like, here's another one. Uh, Olivia. Olivia. Right there, there's an Olivia, 24 cigars. So we've got a buddy. We got a buddy up in Sandusky. Loves cigars. Might see if we can just get those to him. I don't know. I don't know if Eric actually collects the boxes or not, but here's a Romeo. A Romeo Y. Juliet. Does that remind you of Jeremy and George? Churchill's 56 by 7. There's a nice little box there. Let's see if we have a price. We don't have a price on those. Here is another box. A Lanot. A Lanot. Why Lanot? And holy cow, we have a price on those. This box cost them $223.70. Wow. It looks like there's a magnet that goes on there. There it is. Surgeon General's warning. All right. So, holy cow. What if we actually find some in here? There's another. The Edge. Bunch of boxes. Bunch of, bunch of boxes. Here's another one. The Bone Shaker. Now, again, the boxes are all collectible. I can resell every single one of these boxes. 20 cigars. What's this? This doesn't look like a cigar. Maybe it'll be another... Uh, it's some kind of... U.S. Oh, I think you put Bubba Gump Shrimp. That's what it is. The Bubba Gump Shrimp. You open it up and you turn it on. And then... All right, yep. And then... Or maybe you turn it on like this. No, you turn it on like this, and then it's going to light up inside there. I get it. I get it. Okay. Cool. Bubba, bubba gum shrimp. That's cool. More cigar boxes. We probably have $100 in just cigar boxes in here because people will buy these. So there's there's uh, some... The nicer the cigar box, obviously, the better it's going to sell. But we probably... Honestly, we have $100 in cigar boxes. Because I'm still pulling them out. There's another Olivia. 
Really nice cigar box there. People like to hide things in these. So, it, 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 that's part of profiling, knowing where people hide things. People hide things anywhere and everywhere. Um, there's Daytona Beach, Florida. Looks like we're going to have a shot glass collection. Daytona Beach, Florida. Which we get a ton, ton of shot glasses. And what do we have here? I don't dial 911. And that one cost him five bucks. If we can see it. Yep, there we go. I don't dial 911, so that's a bullet. Well, it's supposed to look like it. We've got some paperwork. We've got, holy cow. Look at this. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Like a maple syrup jug. This guy was everywhere with his touring bus company. So he traveled anywhere and everywhere. And frankly, I think he got a ton of freebies. Tools, not so much. But, I mean, I can't foresee anybody giving him all those tools. There's another cigar box. Yeah, we easily, one, two, three, yeah, we've got $100 in cigar boxes, easily. Let's see what else we have here. We got another Bubba Gump shrimp. And what do we have here? We've got, oh, we got a West Virginia shot glass. That cost him $7 right there. Black Bear, West Virginia, trying to get in the shot glass. Usually they're trying to not get shot. That one's trying to get the shot, which I'm guessing we're going to have another, is this another shot glass? It sure is. It is. Check that out. That is the Bubba Gump shrimp shot glass with the shrimp right there. We'll probably lot all these glasses up and sell them on a live auction. All right, let's see what we got. There it is. There it is. We already found the World War I uh, casing for, for the massive, massive bullet. Let's see what we have in here. Federal ammunition. Pop it and... Foam! We have foam! If you want to see a video that actually has a ton of things inside an ammo box, click up top because we opened a safe and the safe had an ammo box and the ammo box was filled with money.